So I've been thinking a little bit about humility, and we're told when we're younger to be humble. And, you know, I looked it up and was wondering exactly what does humble mean? And what humble means is to place yourself lower than another. And one thing we often talk about being humble in is sports. We learn to be good sportsmen and sportswomen and have sportsmanship. Um, so it, it made me really think about, well, you know, why is it so important? Why do we push sportsmanship? And if you think about a plate of weights and it's standing under your feet, if you're on top of the weights, say a 50 pound weight and you stand on top of it, could you lift it? You couldn't. You'd have to pick it up above your feet, make it equal with you or put it above you even better, you'll lift more when it's above you. So the question is, you know, why is being humble good and placing yourself lower than someone good? Number one, you can lift people up when you're underneath them. And the opposite of that, obviously, is to push people down. And so when you put yourself above somebody and you're bragging, you're gloating, you know, especially if you just won an event, sporting event, let's say, they already know you beat them. And someone who's confident in, in their abilities doesn't need to gloat. I know sometimes we're excited and we're surprised, but sometimes without realizing it, by not being humble, we're trying to place ourselves above somebody and push them down. So it's something to kind of look at. When you're beneath somebody, you have the ability to lift them up. Versus when you're above them, you're going to be making them feel the pressure of your weight and push them down. Now, some of us are strong enough to withstand being pushed down. And when someone teases, makes fun of us or brags, we don't let it bother us. But we really know it hurts. We know it hurts because it's being we're being judged. And we know being judged doesn't feel very good. It feels terrible when someone's especially if you're having a bad day, if you're sensitive uh, at that moment. But, you know, one thing to consider is where, what does jealousy come from? You know, jealousy comes from inequality. So when we put ourselves above somebody, we're pointing out the inequality. And sometimes even, you know, if we look at our whole lifetime, some people's lives are very unfair. Some people don't have basic needs. They don't have basic love. They don't have basic uh, understanding and they haven't been taught, you know, certain things that could make them withstand somebody who may be trying to push them down. So that's something to consider as well. You know, a, a person in a moment when you're bragging, gloating or push your, putting yourself above them, they're not just that person that moment. They've lived a whole life and they could be very sensitive and have a trauma or open wound that when you touch it a little bit it's gonna make them really react if you think about it if everybody were equal there couldn't be any jealousy now we know that's not possible but inequality leads to jealousy and, and jealousy can lead to anger and hatred um, especially when we don't have basic needs for example you know there might be certain countries who really hate Americans because they are upset they don't have basic needs and they should water, food, shelter, security, uh, love, and feeling safe. So placing yourself above somebody will more than likely lead to jealousy, hatred, inequality is pointed out. And, you know, our, our choice is to think about whether we want to do that. It's, it's something you can think about not doing or doing consciously. So what is a leader? You know, in my opinion, a leader doesn't exploit people, it doesn't take advantage of people for gain, doesn't hurt people on purpose. And so what a leader does, one of my sisters said, I think I've come to realize what a leader does is help others be better. And other than guide them, right, leading someone is guiding them and going first, which if you even set a world record, you're just going first, someone's going to break it one day. But a leader uplifts or makes others better. And to do that, even a leader needs to be humble. Because again, if you want to lift people up, 
you've got to place yourself beneath them rather than create hatred, jealousy, and point out inequalities. And if you want to be a leader and you want to lift people up, and again, we know that's a choice. You don't have to. But do you want to push people down? And do you want to hurt people? And take advantage of people knowing that it's going to hurt them. But some people maybe don't understand that they're doing it. Others, they could do it on purpose because it makes them feel better. But why does it make them feel better? Because other people have pushed them down and make them feel badly. So they're trying desperately to make themselves feel better at the expense of others because the world has been mean, cruel, and has hurt them and pushed them down. And so they're repeating the cycle. So that's just something to consider, you know. Why should we be humble? It's so that we can lift others as opposed to pushing them down. And that's exactly what a leader does. And that's exactly what you want to do for yourself is lift yourself up. But not at the expense of others, not at the expense of jealousy, and not at the expense of making others feel badly. Because our competitors make us better. If we're talking about sports, uh, they bring out the best in us. And someone who makes you better shouldn't, you shouldn't hate them. But I understand in life, especially basic needs, there will be inequalities, which is not right. Uh, then there comes luxuries like a car or a house that is very fancy. Those aren't needs, but people can be jealous of those as well. But it's just an understanding of how humility can be a very positive thing. And it takes strength and it takes discipline, which makes you stronger exercising anything difficult. So it is difficult sometimes to be humble. And again, it has a lot of positive consequences. And the opposite has a lot of negative consequences. Not being humble and placing yourself above others could really hurt them. So biblically, we see, you know, the definitions to bring low, to put yourself beneath somebody, to depress, often even humiliate. Sometimes when you're trying to humble somebody, you're trying to humiliate them. So the word or root hum is in there. And biblically, we see James 4.10 says, humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. Well, first of all, we have to think about that. Why should I place myself beneath the Lord? Well, how could you place yourself equal to God or above God, right? To say you're equal with God or to say you're above God is obviously not true, not possible and arrogant and it's not going to lead to good things. Uh, Matthew 18, 4 says, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus is telling people, being humble is going to make you great. Again, it's going to help you lift others up instead of push them down, which is very close to loving them. And um, <clears throat> Matthew twenty three twelve, for those who exalt themselves will be humbled. You know, you'll be put down in your place for your own good because, again, we can see how it could be toxic and hurtful for you not to be humble. And those who humble themselves will be exalted. They will be lifted up. And so we think about this image being below somebody is going to allow you to lift them up and we think of being above them could push them down but another thing when you're above somebody is you could lift them up and you know by being below God God's going to lift us up and he's promised that saying God is love God is agape God is compassion God wants what's good for you even it says the Lord disciplines his children because he loves his children and he's trying to help teach them. So that's another thing we can consider with being humble. When you're above somebody and you know you're above them in an achievement, ac academic achievement, sports achievement, with money, with power, if you know you're above someone, you can push them down, but you can also lift them up. And God knows he's above us and has made the promise to lift us up. And that's one of the reasons it's important to Remember to humble ourselves before the Lord and place us there, place ourselves below the Lord so he can help lift us up. And so we can then be lifted up and help lift up others as well. We, they call that glorifying God, lifting up God. So by having God above us, we can lift him up even higher and he's going to take us with him and we're going to take others as well. We're going to lift up the Lord as 
we are lifted up and we're going to lift up others out of the grace and love and compassion uh, similar to what God shows to us. So just some thoughts about being humble. Um, hopefully you can think a little bit more about why that's important.